So what's up? What's going on guys? Welcome to JA News. It's up. So there's been much debate this year among sneakerheads regarding the Jordan 1. Is this an all time classic sneaker that will never go out of style or has the constant releases caused the hype for this popular model to die down? And with Jordan brands set to bring back one of their most classic and iconic Jordan 1 colorways, is this sneaker truly burnt out? Stay tuned guys, we got all that plus the latest and greatest in sneaker news and updates and it's coming right up next. All right, so I appreciate y'all if you're rocking with JA News and haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe. I'm currently on the road to 70,000 subs, so let's go ahead and make it happen. Now to kick things off, we had another Ye sighting, which over the past weekend, he popped out for the Tyson Fury fight, which took place in Saudi Arabia. And as we're just days away from the previously announced multi-stadium album listening event, I feel like many fans are still optimistic about the date, but of course we all still remember the whole Yandi album release situation. So hopefully, at the least, we'll get some type of update come Friday. Now, over the past weekend, Ye linked up with goats like Mike Tyson. We also see him pictured here with Jay Prince, which according to reports, he previewed them his new album. And if you zoom in on this image, you'll notice that it looks like Ye has some type of interesting Yeezy sock prototype. So of course, sneakerheads and fans are all waiting for Ye's return to the sneaker game. We've seen the Yeezy sock kind of develop with different type of prototypes. He's been wearing different type of footwear, but it appears now that they feature some type of rubber sole. And if you ask me, it looks like this Yeezy sock shoe is starting to come together. So this is an all time legendary link up right here. Ye, he looks to be a real high spirits. And my boy, Mike Tyson, He's looking real geeked up off the shroom, so what I'm hoping is that we get new music sooner than later. Now in other sneaker news, Adidas has just revealed two new colorways for the Human Race Samba by Pharrell. So we got the Cloud White Pink as well as the Ash Gray Green pair respectively. Two new clean colorways for the Adidas Samba, one of their classic models which in more recent years has grown to become one of their most popular sneakers. But one of the main criticisms upon this release has to be the $180 price tag versus the OG Samba which retails at $100. But regardless, Regardless, both of these pairs are set to drop coming up this Friday, November 3rd, via the Adidas Confirmed app. So it's been nearly two decades since Nike and Dornbecker's Children's Hospital have teamed up for their first Dornbecker freestyle collection. In the time since, the duo has raised over $33 million for the hospital as patients design collections released annually with 100% of the profits donated to Dornbecker. For 2023, the Dornbecker freestyle collection serves as the 19th entry in the series. So the 2023 collection features an array of different Nike models ranging from the Dunk High to the classic Nike Cortez but my favorite has to be this Jordan 3 designed by my man Hugo aka Juice who he's a fan of the Seattle Seahawks so he spread the team's navy and green across this Jordan 3 equipped with a special drip design at the upper that nods to his Juice nickname. The shoe is packed with details such as the it's okay to be different model appearing at the translucent and green outsole. So joints are clean, gotta love this. Shout out to all of the kids involved. And I gotta say, some of these kids may give Nike designers a run for their money. And of course, for every great Jordan brand Nike release, they're gonna follow it up with some trash. So ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you the upcoming Jordan Spizike. Low. So it looks like next year Jordan brand will be turning its attention to the Jordan Spizike once again. Set to arrive coming up next spring, we got the Jordan Spizike Low. Houston Oilers, a color scheme which pays homage to the professional team, you know, that bears that same name. Now, when it comes to the Jordan Spizike, I remember when this sneaker originally released for Spike Lee back in the day. And I'm not even gonna lie, when these joints first dropped the high top version, I actually wanted a pair, of course, never grabbed them. And after looking back over time, I feel like this sneaker has actually aged horribly. It's back from that time when Jordan Brand was experimenting, mixing up a lot of their hybrid models. And I just gotta say, these joints ain't it. So I don't know why Jordan Brand is bringing these back with a low top version. Joints look pretty ugly and on top of that, they want 160 bucks for these. All right, so with that out the way, we're gonna be taking a look at this weekend's Jordan 1 release. So we got the Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined, which is set to drop coming up this Saturday, November 4th. These pairs will be available in full family sizing with adult pairs starting at 100 
80 bucks. And with Nike dropping these early via exclusive access, this sneaker has virtually no resale value on the secondary market. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's go ahead and grab a pair to check out here on the channel. And of course, there's been much debate this year about the Jordan 1. Has this classic Nike model fallen off? Is this sneaker burnt out? Of course, Nike did drop some great Jordan 1 colorways this year. We had the Palomino, we got the UNC, and the return of this classic iconic colorway so of course with this pair Nike did of course ditch the leather for this new suede new buck finish you got the blue bottoms on here white sole with the classic royal blue black color scheme all right so on feet joints are looking if you ask me these are looking real nice a little heavy and stiff but on feet looking very clean if you ask me and of course as we know jordan ones take a little time to break in anyway so in terms of sizing if you've never tried a pair of this sneaker true to size is the way to go but of course you can even get away with going a half size up this sneaker of course comes standard with the black pair of laces but they also provide a blue royal pair as an alternate backup but for me i'm rocking with the black pair on these joints all day so overall i would have to say that i am actually a fan of these while i would have much more preferred to have the leather finish you know the og version i feel like with this new reimagined suede new buck finish it doesn't take away from this jordan brand classic of course we will see over time you know if this suede has like that ashy look to it but as of now joints are super clean so is the jordan one burnt out i feel like that's a conversation that's definitely up for debate but in my opinion is not. I mean, of course, Jordan brand, they drop a lot of unnecessarily Jordan 1 colorways, but anytime they bring back one of these classics, it's just a reminder of how good this sneaker actually is. But if we want to bring up the conversation about sneakers that are burnt out, I feel like it may be time to talk about the Nike Dunk Low. But anyways, let me know if you guys are picking these joints up come Saturday. Are you rocking with these? And Drop your feedback on all the topics covered here in today's video. So we're going to wrap things up. Salute to each and every one of you guys. I appreciate y'all. And I'll catch you guys next time for the latest edition of JA News. Love.